Hey, Remote Pilot 101, Jason here alongside Ethan, bringing you now episode two of our part 107 most popular questions. Ethan sees thousands of Remote Pilot questions each and every month, and he's bringing us some of his favorites and some recent ones. You said this one just came in Absolutely. yesterday, Ethan. It says, the FAA says to stay 2,000 feet from guy wires on towers. How do I get close enough to inspect the tower? Is it not safe to inspect towers with my drone? Yeah, this is a great question, and like Jason said, it came in yesterday. So the first part of this question is, Jason, if the FAA says I have to stay 2,000 feet away, how do I do it? Right. Well, the first thing to note is that is not a requirement. That is actually just a recommendation by the FAA. Yes. On the man side, Jason could tell you what they say. In sure. On the man side, we actually have an entire advisory circular about this, and they talk about making it an invisible hazard is what they actually refer to it as. So they're taking a lot of those regulations that are from the man side. They're not even regulations. Again, it's just nice suggestions to avoid these invisible hazards. You got a $6,000 Inspire too. The FAA doesn't need the liability to say, well, the FAA said it was okay. No, the FAA suggests yeah. that we don't do this. There's no regulatory Absolutely. that says we can't. They suggest that we don't do this is how they really go about it in that case. So. Absolutely. And so what I told Michael on this exact question was, what I do, just for example, we inspected a water tower last week. I had two visual observers in yes. two different locations, yes. all with walkie-talkies, so that we can actually be communicating. So instead of operating by myself, one visual observer, right. I had two in this instance no, because I can't see the guy wires when Absolutely. I'm controlling the drone. No, very smart. Let's keep with this kind of tower theme here a little bit. Here's another question. By the way, this is not only helping you for your part 107 you know, test, mm -hmm. exam, but this is making you that safe real world operator and that's what we're all about here at remotepilot101.com. Here is the next question. If I can't fly over 400 feet, how do I inspect the tower below that goes to 889 feet? So let's go ahead and show, that's AGL by the way, let's go ahead and show that tower there real quick, Ethan, if you want to explain what they're talking about here. So here's the tower that they're talking about, mm -hmm. and real quick I'll just jump over to how I answered it. In Park 107, the maximum allowed altitude is 400 feet above the ground and higher if your drone remains within 400 feet of the structure. So let's jump back over here, Jason, to this tower. Yes. And let's talk about this for a minute. So the first thing to note is airspace. Yes. The airspace I see right here by the airport, shaded magenta, mm -hmm. that indicates that that's Class E starting at 700 feet AGL. Right. Out here, I don't have any airspace. Right, it's domestic en route, right? Absolutely. So that means my Class E is going to start at 1,200 foot AGL. Right. Well, this tower shows 889. Mm -hmm. That means I can legally fly Mm -hmm. up to mm -hmm. 400 feet above the tower? Well, we got to think about airspace, right? Absolutely. So it's 1,200 feet. So we can go 311 feet above this tower and 400 feet horizontal to inspect the top wow, of the tower. Wow, so being mindful of the airspace that's around us. Absolutely. Just because they said, yeah, you can go 400 feet above this obstacle, mm -hmm. that's not a waiver or an authorization to go beyond any airspace by mm -hmm. any means. Absolutely. So it's being mindful of the airspace that's around you. Mm -hmm. So listen, thank you so much for making Remote Pilot 101 the number one way to prepare for your Part 107 test. We're doing, lead up to this holiday season, you know, December 2017, we're running a great promo code RP20 to save 20% on your remote pilot membership. And that's a membership, by the way, for life. So in two years, we have to take this test again. We'll be here for you. So on behalf of Ethan, myself, this entire Remote Pilot 101 team, have an awesome Christmas, awesome holiday. Enjoy RP20, the promo code, and we'll see you next week in episode three. You've seen online that the Part 107 knowledge test isn't easy. It's not something you can go in alone. Let us be your guide. Let our 57 full 4K training videos really hold your hand and take you through the course step by step to better understand complex topics like airspace, charts, METARs and TAFs and aviation weather. You're able to test on and see the actual FAA Part 107 questions. And lastly, we're going to help you submit your application to the FAA. Visit remotepilot101.com to learn more.